Hello everybody, this is Brendan from the Eons Project, and today I've got some Dirt Rally for you guys. So, right now I'm playing with my G25 racing wheel from Logitech. Got the full 8 shifter with the clutch, everything set up perfectly, and I am playing a stage that I've never played before. I've done a couple shakedown runs to make sure my tuning is okay for this, but other than that, I'm going in completely blind on this. I am driving the Mini, I believe a, a Morris Mini, and I'm going to see how that goes. You know, front wheel drive rally car, there weren't a lot of them. The Mini was by far the most successful. So, yeah, let's get right into it. We'll start the stage up and get Five, ready to rumble. Four, three, now this thing two, one, caps out go. at about... Oh, uh, I'd say 73 or 7400 RPM. I've got it geared a bit higher than normal, just so that I can uh, really attack those straightaways. Not that there are many that I can see in the shakedown. I can't hear the co-pilot too well, so I really messed that up. Oh, <laughs> I'm talking over the information I need to play here, so uh, <laughs> I really got to start paying attention. Give it a little bit, push it a bit less. Shift into second with the flick there. I'll keep consistent revs near the red line. Oh, God. Oh. The cute turns in the front wheel drive car are really hard to do. Uh, now you could handbrake turn, but when you were driving this car in the uh, in the sorry the 60s, you, you didn't have a handbrake to do that. With. You had to flick it. So I've just got to get rid of that. So we're struggling here, pushing against the rev limiter. This is the open straightaway I was looking for, and we've got an acute right coming up ahead. Oh, tried to do a flick, I did not make it, and I am stuck on some barrels. We are not going to be getting a good time here. <laughs> I'm sure once I get used to this whole uh, talking over my information, I'll be a little bit better at this. Really pushing it down the line. Flicking it around. That front wheel drive can enter corners so well the biggest advantage to the layout, although the exits do leave a lot to be desired, especially with those acute turns, as you can see there. It has such a tendency to oversteer. Absolutely lowering it down the line. Oh, it's never good when you hear a six with care on it, because you know something weird's going to be happening. And I missed that call entirely. Oh my lord. <laughs> Our time's really going to be suffering here, but we'll try and make up for lost ground, eh? Shifting into fourth. Wish I had a five speed. Down into third. And hairpin left is coming up. Oh long lord, not even close. <laughs> this thing is an absolute blast to drive, but it doesn't handle like it's any other car in the game. It's its own uniqueness to learn on. Realistically, the difference between a Stratos and an Odd 37 is going to be, you know, negligible. But the difference between anything else in this is just incredible. You, you won't find that on any other car in the game. It's got low power, lightweight, front wheel drive. There might be another front wheel drive car in the game in the 70s. But it's just so radical compared to everything. Coming up on this uphill section here, this is an uphill race. We're really struggling. We're trying to keep Third this right thing six. in the power band as much as possible. Yeah, so we're not working with very down. much horsepower at Third all. Square right. Oh boy, shoving downhill and we have a square right turn up ahead right that six. I am not Let's at all off prepared off. for and I'm going off the edge. Oh. <laughs> It's, this is a it's far a cry from the in. glory days of the Group B rally, but it does also right, five, long, give you kind of a hint of what it was like. This thing is 
absolutely like wicked around the corners there. Into it's, left six. It seems impossible to get it to, right uh, to oversteer. Understeer. Absolutely constant. And it really doesn't it's help that I can't hear my uh, co-driver there. Right Keep it in second, eight, just in case. That was a wise move, because I don't right know if I could have done press, that in, 60, you know, mid-third gear. Right four, don't cut, 60. Left and up six, here as hard as possible, press, into third right for the four, right. Long, cut, logs Lots of logs, you really don't want to mess up your turns here. Right you six, demolish your out of here. Didn't press the clutch and now there. Right four, long, Missing my shifts, because I am really trying to focus on just hearing what he's saying. Left foot breaking a little bit. Try to keep pressure on that. Into first. Missed the shift. That'll lose me at least a second and a half, two seconds. And when every fraction counts, you can't afford to be driving like I am. <laughs> Tell you that much. Down the green. Come on, you can make it. British engineering. This is the car for the man who has a two sets of Whitworth spanners and knows what to do with them. Left four, long. Oh, come on. No. I got it to oversteer on the start there, but I couldn't get it to keep Caution doing it through there. Those right, exits don't cut, are just brutal. Right six, don't cut. Ah, that wasn't so it's bad, but I shouldn't have shifted left down into three, first, long, I don't cut. think. It's a tough call on this, going right down six, into first, because... Your power band is so small, and it's oh, not very right big to begin with, three, so you really do want to be careful with getting it outside there. Right six, but your first gear is so, so short. Right six, oh, careless, lord, six, I flipped it. <laughs> That's not going to be easy to repair. Ah, uh, poor transmission. Oh my god. What am I doing? Where am I going? It's oh. a right four long. Oh my gosh, making the corners now, this thing just, it, it handles like it's a boat, but it's this tiny little car. It feels like you can throw it around corners, because you can until you get to the end of it. You've only got about 45 degrees of play, and then you're, you got nothing. I've blown out a tire. Oh lord. Alright. We've lost too much time already, I can't really Left afford six. to uh, to repair that, but it's I can hear the rim three, scraping, long, and I'm long, sure three. you guys can too. That's an right awful five, sound. Oh lord! Oh lord! Looks like we gotta repair it, because if we don't do that, we can't uh, reset it. And we might not be able to reset it anyway, because... Dirt has a problem with that. <laughs> Left five over crest, Nailing it back up. Keep right over jump. Now that that tire's fixed, this thing handles a lot better than it was a second ago, Keep but I'm not sure if it uh, really matters there right for that time we just lost. Although it wasn't just a uh, puncture, oh, that thing was on the rim. I was scraping hard. I was Almost 180 degrees on the wheel just to keep it straight, so those right turns weren't really happening. Shoving ourselves through the woods at breakneck speeds through Wales. Very cloudy day because, well, it's Great Britain and sunshine and sobriety do not exist there, as far as I know. Myself around that corner. Back. Do a right little three, bit of a power six. slide as much as I can in this little front wheel drive car. Right four, press. The plucky little Brit is Left tearing four, long, through the track. I'd like to say I was destroying this in the home country, but four, long, into right no. One, long, <laughs> but we're doing what we can. We're uh, going uh, with the stiff right. upper lip strategy. You don't. You don't need a fancy rear-wheel drive uh, Lancia or anything. 
finished. You just need good old British engineering and a very drunk driver. Let's see if I can uh, get to the exit and finish here without crashing it. And it looks like we're all good and across the line. So there you go, event complete, 12 minutes, 24 seconds, with a four, oh my gosh, we actually lost that by four and a half minutes over first place, that's insane, that's over an extra 50% of that man's time, so we definitely didn't do very well there, the Yankees won again. 1776 all over again and with that disappointing news that's going to be the end of this first episode so thanks for watching guys and please consider subscribing to the eons project we'll have lots of new videos coming out and i'm sure you'll enjoy them have a good day